Earlier, we told you about the list of what's to come. It was fairly long, but the list of what was allowed to reopen today was relatively short, but the significance of the short list cannot be overlooked. The big thing today, indoor dining at restaurants. It's legal again, but campgrounds also open too. Janice and Sandy Zimmerman are sisters who both live in Austin Town. Late this afternoon, they were lounging around their campers with their families at Mosquito Lake. On the first day, camping was allowed again in Ohio. Sandy had been waiting for Governor Mike DeWine to lift the ban. I watched him every day to see when he was going to lift it. <laughs> so we were glad when he did. We've been so tired of being held up in the house, and uh, this is our chance to get out and see our relatives and have some fun. Four miles away at Enzo's restaurant in Warren, most of the tables were empty, but a few were occupied by people eating out in a dining room for the first time in two months. Where you see empty space now and maintain distance tape, there were tables. So what we've done is remove the tables, place them in the banquet room. Enzo's also got creative with its masks, which every employee is required to wear, and with the dividers on the booths. Instead of the commonly used plexiglass, there are pictures of Italy. Our family is here anyway, so we're making it as safe for your family as we'd make it for our own. In Holland, at Leo's Restaurante, the dining room was mostly empty, with most customers choosing to dine on the patio. All the help is masked, the tables are further apart, and the bar area is encircled in plexiglass. But the lady behind it is still mixing drinks. Are you okay with what the governor has allowed you to do? We've got to do what he wants us to do. I mean, we're going to make it work. You know, hopefully it'll change, it'll loosen up, and we can get back to our normal. But right now we have to make their normal work. Both Enzo's and Leo's also have banquet halls, and both of the owners said they do plan to have them up and running on June 1st.